Welcome to Business News SA, today we take a look at CETA funding for small businesses. The primary function of the Sector Education and Training Authority SETA, is to raise the skills of employees and job seekers through the establishment of learning programs, such as learnerships, skills programs, internships and apprenticeships. To achieve this, employers and training providers can access CETA funding in the form of grants. CETA was established in recognition that businesses are key drivers of skills development in the workplace. It is an initiative of the government's National Skills Development Strategy NSDS, which aims to radically transform education and training in South Africa and improve industry competitiveness. South Africa has approximately 23 CETAs in the country with members that include employers, trade unions, government departments and bargaining councils where relevant, from each industrial sector. In terms of duties, each CETA is responsible for identifying the skills requirements of the various sectors and ensuring that those skills are readily available. Furthermore, the CETAs are responsible for monitoring and maintaining the quality of training provided. With this in mind, they are required to ensure that all training meets an agreed standard within a national framework and comparable to the best international standards. List of CETAs include Agricultural Sector Education and Training Authority, AgriCETA, Banking Sector Education and Training Authority, Bank SETA, Chemical Industries Education and Training Authority, CETA, Construction Education and Training Authority, CETA, Culture, Arts, Tourism, Hospitality and Sports Sector Education and Training Authority, CAT SETA, Education, Training and Development Practices Sector Education and Training Authority, ETDP SETA, Energy and Water Sector Education and Training Authority, USETA, Fiber Processing and Manufacturing Sector Education and Training Authority, FAM CETA, Finance and Accounting Services Sector Education and Training Authority, FACET, Food and Beverage Manufacturing Industry Sector Education and Training Authority, Food BEV CETA, Health and Welfare Sector Education and Training Authority, F CETA, Insurance Sector Education and Training Authority, and CETA, Local Government Sector Education and Training Authority, and CETA. Manufacturing, Engineering and Related Services Sector Education and Training Authority, MERSETA, Media, Information and Communication Technology Sector Education and Training Authority, MICSETA, Mining Qualifications Authority, MQA, Public Service Sector Education and Training Authority, SETA, Safety and Security Sector Education and Training Authority, SASETA, Services Sector Education and Training Authority, SETA, Transport Education Training Authority, TETA Wholesale and Retail Sector Education and Training Authority, WANDER SETA, there are two ways that CETAs disperse funds to employers in South Africa, through mandatory grants and discretionary grants. Both grants are claimed back by the employer from the Skills Development Levy, SDL, which is imposed on businesses to fund the development and improvement of skills of employees in South Africa. To access CETA funding your business must submit both a Workplace Skills Plans, WSP, which documents your company's skills needs and the skills development interventions in place to address those needs, and their annual training reports, ATRs. Mandatory grants Mandatory grants are paid by the relevant CETA to companies who are eligible to receive funding. They are calculated at 20% of an employer's 1% skills levy. Discretionary grants The remaining 80% of the skills development levy is awarded to employers at the discretion of the CETAs. Employers need to apply for this funding through the relevant channels with their respective CETA. Both grants get paid to the employers in cash which gets transferred to their accounts and is dependent on the amount that they've contributed as a skills levy. Thanks for watching, that's all for today. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe.